everybody. Welcome to the Virtual Fabay 2021. Are you excited? Well, please get excited because I am and Heather and I sit up literally most of the night uh, working on this presentation and just we're really hoping that you enjoy it. So to start today, guess what I'm going to do? because look what I got here. I got all of your names of the people who register and I am going to start giving away prizes because that's the best place to start. So all of you, if you got a box, you have to put it on the, on the box. We kept the other half and wrote your name on it to make sure that you get your prize no matter what. If you're the virtual, you should have got your uh, ticket on an email. Uh, the passwords and everything for the Zooms tomorrow for the people that are fully registered are going to be sent today. Uh, so just look for them in your mailbox. But for now, 12 to 2 today, everybody's welcome. So tell your friends. So like I said, I'm going to start with a price. And I'm going to start with a good price, one of my favorite new tools of a trade. And this is by Suelana Keller. And actually, this one is by Elodie Tenoir. And this is the ultimate face painting guide. It is the most awesome thing for you to practice, for you to learn, for you to get really good at it. So thank you, Svetlana. And I am going to pick a name out of the raffle tickets. And this person is going to win this awesome face painting kit, face painting guide. If you don't have one, you should consider buying one. <gasps> Monica Hellman, you are the winner of Solana Ultimate Face Painting Guide by Elodie Ternois. Congratulations. And listen, if you know Monica, send her a little note saying you won, you won, because um, if she's not watching, we just want to make sure that she knows that she won, okay? All right, I have an assistant. Her name is Margie Canter, and she's supposed to Margie. Wake up. <laughs> and she is in charge to make sure that everybody gets your prices. Number 55, Solana Keller, and, and that's the winner. Awesome. Okay, so she's going to keep track of the prices, make sure that everybody gets it. All right, and I'm going to be giving a lot, a lot, a lot of prices away, okay? If you pay attention, because now I need you to pay attention, I'm going to go over the schedule, all right, for today, and I'm going to go over the schedule for tomorrow and Sunday, so that you know. So today, uh, uh, right after this, uh, we're going to show you a couple of videos that we made. I'm going to say hello from people from around the world. Um, of course, we're going to tell you all about our generous uh, sponsors. Then at 12.20, Gabby, Christina, and Heather are going to talk about TikTok and how you can make money using TikTok and how you can advertise. Uh, that's going to be really, really interesting. Uh, at 12.40, we have Josh and uh, card and he's going to be teaching you how to make a butterfly okay and then you know and then we're going to have uh, Marcela Bustamante this afternoon, uh, Jasmine Hart this afternoon, a lot of more prices. On Saturday the class starts at 10 o'clock 10 to 12 with Milena you will get a password today. Don't worry. Only the people that are fully registered can watch those classes. From 12 to 2, we'll come back again for more fun, more surprises, more special guests, and a lot more prices. Then, um, and we're going to talk tomorrow, we'll talk about the competition. We have another couple of interviews. Uh, and then at 2 o'clock, uh, we have another class, and that's Maggie Acosta. And she's going to be two to four. So make sure that, that you watch it. Again, the classes are private for the people that have a full registration. Uh, we'll come back for a few minutes after four, and then we're going to give you time to relax and get ready for the competition. If you're going to compete, you need to be there by 5.30 to check in. And then during even during the competition, we got some other special surprises for you. And on Sunday, again at 10 o'clock is Dandy. And from 10 to 12, from 12 to 2, more prices, more surprises, more special guests. Uh, just fun stuff. Then from 2 to 4, we got Jillian Child and her class. Then at 4 o'clock, you're going to get time off to go get ready for the party. And the party starts promptly at 6 o'clock. So that's the basic schedule. We have posted the schedules all over Facebook. So make sure that uh, if you need a copy, make sure that you get it from there. Okay. 
All right. Uh, let's do another raffle before we go on to show you some really awesome things. So I think I'm going to give somebody this beautiful, beautiful palette by Diamond FX. And this one is, um, I can see the one, one of them, it's the Shine palette. But it's a Diamond FX palette. I mean, who doesn't like Artie Cakes? Anybody. <laughs> so I'm going to pick another name from here. Okay, you ready? You ready? You ready? Okay. And the winner for the FX palette is Nicole Ray Kirain. Nicole, you are the winner of the FX palette. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. There you so go. Explain the raffle okay, let me explain the raffle tickets. Everybody that register for the Fabay 2022 convention to attend in person received this beautiful box with filled with goodies. And when you open the box, your ticket was. Uh, in the cover of the box with scotch tape so you wouldn't lose it. Don't worry, we gave the other half of your ticket and on the other half of your ticket, we wrote your name before we send your box. So we have your ticket with your name on it so we can miss you. Once you win, that ticket goes there and uh, you get your prize mailed because we're keeping really good track of that, okay? Now, if you, register only for the virtual fabake what happens is that you should have gotten a ticket via email so save that ticket but even if you lose it don't worry because we did exactly the same thing we wrote your name in the back of the ticket and we know who wants it by name so we can contact you if you're not watching if you just a guest and you just wanted to join us because we know how to have fun, don't worry. Every once in a while, I'm going to give a prize away to the people that are just watching. And it could be somebody they pay or somebody they didn't pay, but I am going to give prizes away because our judge, our sponsors have been extremely generous. And we will talk about them in just a little while, okay? Uh, do we have any questions so far before we keep going? Because I have so much to share and so much to show you and so much fun ahead of us. Any questions? Lots of people from all over the world. We have lots of people from all over the world. And that's the beauty about Fabake. You know, we had as many as 26 countries represented, which, you know, is going to lead me to show you something. Um, we have a very special video that we prepared. Uh, so let's get, let's watch it.
my dear friends, I am Teresa from Italy and I miss you a lot, but I will see you very soon at Fabike 2002. Ciao! Hi there, my beautiful friends. This is Ilse from Illuminar, Belgium. I'm just dropping by to say hi and to tell you that I miss you all an awful lot. I can't wait till we can meet up once again, paint and have fun. So I'm hoping to see you all very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye. Hola, soy Triana Pérez desde Costa Rica. Quiero enviarles un gran saludo a Marcela y a Fede, que son las organizadoras de este grandioso congreso Fabay 2022. Espero que toda la familia de artistas podamos reunirnos el año que viene y así aprender de grandes artistas como año tras año nos han ayudado ellas. Espero que todos se encuentren muy bien, esperando poder vernos pronto. Los invito una vez más a este maravilloso congreso. Yeah. Wasn't that the most beautiful artwork ever? I want to thank all of the artists that took the time to paint something from their country with so much love and so much care to Kiki, to Loris, Acacia, Jasmina, Tammy, Svetlana, Belinda, Lenore, Natalie, Ceci, Kyle, Linda, Lulu, Corey, Daniela, Lydia, Yvonne, all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. As you know, I used them for... Uh, the banners at the Everything Face and Body Art Forum. I really appreciate it. But you know what? We have a whole year ahead, and I want to have a collection of this artwork from all of you watching. Even if you're not coming to Fabek for whatever reason next year, send me pictures of something from your country, and then uh, I will make sure that they get displayed in a real special way during the actual uh, Fabek next year. So keep coming, and also keep coming uh, with the hello videos. Uh, Fabek, one of the beauties about Fabek is that we are truly an international convention, and we have people from all over the world, and that is like the most fascinating thing because uh, depending on where you live or you come from, we also have different styles. And my favorite thing to do at Fabeg is during the jam. I just walk around and believe me, when you see something painted, a lot of people will go, oh, I know, those were the girls from Bermuda. It had to be. Oh, those are the girls from Germany. Those are the painters from the UK. Those are the painters from Russia because you can distinguish their style and their work. And then we are learning from each other. So we're learning from people from all over the world. They are so great at what they do. So keep sending me those pictures, okay? I really appreciate them. Just send them to marcella at fabake.com. Or you can even, if it's easier for you, uh, drop me a private message on Facebook, okay? And I will save them and we will make more banners and then we'll get something really nice done for Fabake. So when you come in, you can see your artwork on the walls at Fabake. Okay, so I'd just like to stop again for any questions because I'm here also to answer any questions that you might have uh, for the rest of the week, okay? Monica, so Oh, well, thank you, Monica. And remember, if, if anybody, whoever wins, if you're a friend of theirs, congratulate them so they know that they win. Because some people are working, some people are busy at this time, and they may not be watching, and they may miss. And But then, on the other hand, when the prize gets in the mail, uh, to them, they're going to say, what is this for? <laughs> and I got surprised. So anyway, because I'm still really excited, and I got so many prizes to to give away and before I get to thank the people responsible for such generosity, I'm gonna do one more raffle. I am going to raffle a set of glitters from Vivid Glitter. Jackie, thank you so much for this. I am gonna pick somebody and it's going to be, ta -da 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 -da. and my sister Margie White will come and get it. <laughs> and it's Inga Caglia. Inga, you want a set of vivid glitter. All right, so here you go again. Thank you, Jackie. We love, 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 love your glitter. Okay, so which brings me to one of the most important parts of Fabake's and the part that makes Fabake 
possible. And the part that makes Fabex so much fun because all of us like to win and get good things. And it's our sponsors. You know, and this year, you know, we called up our sponsors. We weren't really sure what we were going to response that we we're going to get because it's been a hard year for everybody, uh, for us and for them and for everybody. But let me tell you, these manufacturers and these sponsors and these people that are making the products for you to use, they love you. They love you so much and it's going to be proof today of how much they love you. So please support them. If you get a prize from one of them, please take a moment and send them a little note and say thank you. Because without them, to tell you the truth, Fabek wouldn't be possible. So I want to uh, start with our biggest sponsor and the co-producer of the convention, which is Silly Farm. Uh, Silly Farm is always trying to do as much as we can for you guys and, and to show you how appreciated we are of your, of your continuous support. So thank you so much for Silly Farm, for producing this, for to Heather, the owner and the CEO, for working so hard, to Claudia, to Stancy, and the golden brushes and the painter. But, uh, we couldn't do it uh, without without them, without Silly Farm. Um, then I would like to thank other sponsors like um, Bada Stencils. Bada Stencils is one of our biggest supporters and one of our biggest sponsors. Uh, Andrea O'Donnell, she donated a lot of her awesome, incredible stencils. Those of you who received the box know that it wasn't just one stencil that you received in her bag of Bada Stencils. It was a lot of them. So, and, and she also sent some more stencils for the competition. Uh, she always support us through the years. So thank you so much, Andrea, from Bada Stencil. Um, Fusion. Uh, Fusion has some awesome palettes uh, and they send us some too and it's their their uh, palettes are beautiful uh, thank you to Leanne uh, she's part of the she's the fusion artist uh, so thank you to fusion and the same thing to tag body art uh, I just gave no I just gave one away so uh, thank you so much tag for all of your support diamond effects another excellent paint um, there are so many, so many uh, great paints in the in the market. Global Colors, Snazaru, all of those paints are awesome. Craze is another one. Okay, so I like to uh, thank Sparkling Faces by Svetlana for her contribution. Jacqueline Hartog, she made a whole bunch of little glitter for you. Uh, Craft and Go, uh, Stacy Perry. Uh, an FX artist, Evoke Brush Strokes, send us an awesome price too. Uh, Marie Jones, oh, she's like awesome. <laughs> she said, send us so much candy. I'm gaining all the weight I tried to lose. Oh, it was um, Tara. Oh, it was Tara. So Marie sent something else. I forgot. Oh, Marie sent the tickets to Disney. That somebody's going to win. Oh, Marie, we love you. And Tara Stone Street, we love the candy too. Uh, Tal from the ad. A factory, Mackie from Glitter Body Art, uh, Vivid Glitter, All Beauty Boutique, and Erica for American Body Art. Again, always a big sponsor from us. Uh, Dazzle Blink and Donna Cox, they both send some beautiful, beautiful bling. A uh, superstar. Uh, send an, another prize. And uh, and then the last one to join us was Celtic T shirts tea shop and that's Kristen Scott oh she sent some certificates of some really yummy yummy goodies and I think uh, I didn't mix any oh Meron of course I think I mentioned Meron but I think I mentioned everybody so thank you thank you thank you so much without our sponsors again this wouldn't be possible thank you for gener your generosity remember if you win one of the hundreds of prizes that they send us make sure you send them a little note and say thank you so much for their support Okay, so uh, now uh, we're going to show you, like again, we send you some boxes and we're going to give a prize and this prize is going to be on Sunday night during the banquet. Uh, we're going to choose a couple of people that we love their videos a lot because they were very creative. So today we're going to show you two unboxing videos so that you can get happy. So hit it, Heather. <laughs> dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep in dreams you will lose your heartaches 
Whatever you wish for, you keep. Have faith in your dreams, and someday your rainbow will come smiling through. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing, the dream that you wish will come true. Okay, I'm so excited, right? So I got my keys. I got my top my keys. I have my scissors right here, right? I am so excited i don't know what to do with myself okay i didn't even wait to call my kid or anybody to record me doing this because i was trying to open it right now and i almost forgot that you needed this beautiful video of me opening this thing up so hi everybody if i didn't introduce myself i'm kiana I own Q Faces in Georgia, and I cannot wait for not only the virtual for baby for bag, but I'm ready to come party next year in 2022. So let's open this box up. Look. Okay. There's my coupon. Okay, so I believe my oops. Let's see. Oh my goodness, this thing is full, y'all. Like full, full. Okay. Um, I think I have a love note in here, so I want to make sure that I read that first. But it's so much stuff in here. It's stencils. Um, thank you so much, every single person that like contributed to these boxes. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. It's a heart sponge, and there are. All kind of little trinkets and stuff. There's contests that we're going to do. And I know that some of the artists have already shared. Be jealous. Oh, look. I love a good cup. Oh, my goodness. I do not see my love note, but I'm going to keep looking for it. And then I will come back if I need to and send y'all another note but yay look at the swag hello 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 everybody wasn't weren't those videos amazing those were just a small uh set of videos i really want you guys to continue to post your unboxing videos i know that it's weird sometimes to tape yourself like opening a box but it shares in the joy it makes us get excited for better days ahead i mean i personally am so excited uh, that things are getting better like people are tagging me in memories from the last Fabeg. all of those emotions came to be today uh, we woke up to the most coolest timeline of just amazing pictures and i can't say thank you enough to all of our vendors who generously donated for us to create these boxes to my team today the production team from margie to marcella to lisa thank you so much um the virtual fabric is going to be incredible if i can get marcella to uh <laughs> learn technology um so we have a super busy couple days planned. I'm going to go over them really, really quickly. First and foremost, today we have lots of fun stuff planned, so don't leave. Gabby is coming up next. We're going to talk about TikTok. Then we have Margie. We have a surprise guest. We Then tomorrow, everything kicks off. So don't forget to register for the competition, which is tomorrow night. Don't forget to post your pictures. We'll talk more about that anyways. If you have questions, please post them in the chat so that we can answer them live. Chances are if you have a question, other people do as well. So I have the amazing pleasure today to bring on not just a friend, but she's kind of been like a rainbow during COVID. There was a 
part of COVID that I really had no idea what I was going to do uh, with Fabit TV because I didn't have John and I didn't have my team and staff. And I talked to Marcel and I said, I don't know what to do. I don't have anybody to help me. And she said, well, why don't you call that girl? And I didn't know who she meant. And she said, call Gabby. And we just built a friendship and thankfully I brought her on board to Fabit TV. So many of you know her. Um, but one thing that inspires me most about her is she reminds me a lot of myself, but like maybe 10, 12 years ago, because she's a lot younger. Um, but she has such enthusiasm and she also has a lot she can share with you guys. So for those of you that are into TikTok, for those of you that see TikTok as an amazing avenue to grow your business, she's going to be with me on in just one minute. And she's going to be able to explain how she went from no followers to 220,000 followers. She's going to tell you how fast it took. So without further ado, I hope that everybody is having the best time. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Marie. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Gabriella, Teresa, uh, Lourdes, Christina, Kiana. Kiana, we smiled so hard watching your vi unboxing video. I had to put that music in there in the end to remix it. Oh. Before I bring Maggie, um, uh, Gabby on, Sunday, get your dancing shoes ready. We are going to dance live together. So that's just that. Okay, so I don't want to take up too much time. I want to add Gabby to our stream. Hi, okay. everyone. Hi. How are you? Good. I have a whole bunch of notes for you guys to talk over because I want all of you to succeed doing this. It's easy. This is easy. Oh. But I do recommend get a notepad get a pen because we're going to go from broad to more specific and things that I've learned the hard way. So I hope okay. everyone's ready. I'm really excited about this because I will tell you this. I Social media is a huge part of Silly Farm. It's a huge part of most people's businesses, right? And every day it seems like social media keeps growing and you feel exhausted at trying <laughs> to keep up. So as a video editor and a video person, I can tell you at first TikTok turned me off because it was really intense in terms of, it feels like a little video editor in my pocket. What is your first experience with TikTok? Horrible, I did not enjoy it. Like coming from a laptop, working with programs and doing everything on my phone and I don't like doing anything on my phone. I I don't like the little thing, Yes. But but it grew so quickly to the point where I'm now I can make money off of it, not much, but like something that, that adds a lot of motivation to get content out there, to make it relatable, make it fun and telling stories about face painting and balloon twisting that I think is hilarious. Yeah, I do. I love your video. <laughs> Well, you know, at first there was this weird misconception that TikTok was only for like this very young generation, like not even Generation Z, like whatever the generation is today. Then the other day I saw my husband spending probably nine hours on TikTok, not kidding you, hope he's not watching, um, watching this older mother. She's probably in her 60s teaching him how to make TikTok videos. So he goes, see, TikTok is not for young people. Look, she's teaching me and she's old like you. <laughs> I love my uh, but she was much older, okay? <laughs> so anyways, long story short, kind of explain how and who you direct your TikToks to. Sure, but I wanna just kind of hit on what you said. TikTok is for everyone. There are a lot of people that are addicted to it because it's, it's a black hole. There's no exit button. The exit button is the home button on your phone, guys. Right. So um, there are a lot of really big growing TikToks that are of older audiences. There are some really big ones that are like of two old women in their 70s and they have like a few million followers. And then, let me tell you this, the older you are, if you're like in between, between 20 and 40, right? You have a lot of knowledge that you can apply and give to people that don't have this information. So there are a lot of big TikTokers that are in their 30s, in their 40s, that know how to do video editing, that know how to communicate their story. And as face painters, we know how to communicate our art, our, our passion. So just because you might think, oh, it's for like little kids, people in their teens, let me tell you, you have the upper hand because these kids don't know what they're doing. They're not creating good content that you guys can create. So I hope that adds a little bit of motivation. 
So my next question to you, sorry, we have a crazy day going on here. Um, so my next question to you is how long did it take? Did, how long did it take you to go from zero to 220? So I started at the end of February. So like practically in March, April, May. so it's only been at the most three months that it took me to go from zero to where I am now. And it grows every single day. There's never a moment where it drops, maybe like, you know, with YouTube subscribers or with Instagram followers. Um, with TikTok, it's one of the biggest platforms in the world. People are making content like mad, but that doesn't mean that your content won't show. And I wanna, I wanna really hit on something is, I know a lot of people are kind of struggling with TikTok. They're not getting those views. And you're like, oh, it's the algorithm. Like TikTok is garbage. I want to mention, because I do a lot of research on TikTok, I follow a lot of um, YouTubers that are like these master classes because you know, we all want to improve. And every every single person has the same capacity to grow and get their content out there. You have three seconds to grab the audience, have them watch it full, have them like it, and even comment if it is relatable to them. So you might think, oh, I'm not getting the views. And I'm saying, maybe you need to change your strategy. Maybe you need to make those three seconds like insane. And you will definitely see progression on getting those views because everyone can do it. Everyone. You know, it's interesting that you say that. Hold on, I'm putting up your your uh, your TikTok behind oh. us so that we can see it. I'm moving it over. Make sure that you guys are following her. So, I will tell you, my journey on um, YouTube took almost 14 years to even just get to whatever it's at right now. So this is this is Gabby behind Gabby behind me, guys. Make sure you're following. Look at that. 4.9 million uh, likes. Let's give her a round of applause oh, for that. 4.9 million people. That is more than the population of sometimes, I think maybe Montana has 5 million people. I don't know. But long story short, that's incredible in itself. So, you know, for me, my journey on YouTube was very slow. And, you know, I kind of joined YouTube at a time where I don't think many people knew its potential up front. So in terms of TikTok, do you think when compared to the other platforms, do you think that it's easier to get to a point where you can make money off of it? Do you think that it's worth it? You're, you're a YouTuber. Um, so would you say it's easier or more time beneficial to invest in YouTube or TikTok? So TikTok, 1000%, everything that you said, apply that to TikTok. Cause YouTube, it's really hard to grow followers. You know just just think about yourself right when you watch youtube videos you might like that one video but do you subscribe do you like it no you go to the next video because you already finished what you needed now with TikTok, um once you have a specific niche and you want it to be like pretty specific people can always rely on you on that same kind of content that's why i don't add a lot of like personal things um they're all face painting or entertainer stories. Now I'm trying to add some tutorials in there, kind of like running a test to see how it goes. But the biggest thing with TikTok is it's growing. You can get, um, you can you can be a one hit wonder or go viral in a day, easy. Like there are no rules when it comes to growing That's on super, That's super interesting. Cause you know, I feel like the minute that you get a little popularity on say Instagram or even YouTube, it's like the algorithm will switch up so fast that you're like, oh, I had 10,000 people that liked it one day, but today there's like two likes. So with, would you say with your experience with TikTok that it's a little bit more consistent? Like if you do good, it just helps you immediately? Yeah, so if one video goes viral, like I will tell you, a week after I had opened TikTok, um, like just kind of testing to see how it ran, one video went viral and I went from 20 followers to 20,000 in a night. Okay, guys, 20,000 in a night. And this video now has like 4 million views. But with other social media, you're not going to get that kind of momentum. But every video that you post starts from zero, right? So even though I might have that many followers, 
I, if my first three seconds aren't good, it won't get the views regardless of how many followers you have. Now, if you have loyal followers, then they'll go to your account and watch your content however often you post. If you're consistent with not only the time, but also the days that you post, they will stop by because they love you, right? But for those that might not, again, you only have three seconds to be like everyone else and get and go viral. Oh, okay. So that makes sense because, you know, I won't lie to you. I'm still kind of like behind on the TikTok wagon in the sense of every time I open the app, the obsessive compulsive person comes out of me where I want it to be perfect. What would be your best advice to the person who's literally opening up the app to start? Okay. So I have these notes and these are really important um, to start that you need to do in every single video that you guys do. So the first one is having good lighting. Right now I'm using two ring lights. Um, if you if you have like bad quality TikToks, like bad lighting, if it's really grainy, uh, your video won't get views. This has been tested. This has been researched by other um, TikTok teachers. So you need to have like crisp, lighting either outside or if you're going to do it inside make sure if you don't have ring lights use lamps or something that's really crucial second and what i have learned and i've tested it and yes it works not all the time but is using trending music so if you open tiktok right and you're like making your video there's a little button that says sound you click on it and there's a once you open the sound button there's another little tab that says tiktok viral and then from there, there's from like one to 15 songs that are viral, that are blowing up. You want to use one of those 15 songs. And then from there, I know this is like probably complicated because I'm not showing you on a screen. But for those that might have already opened TikTok, um, from there on your sounds, you want to put your audio, your original audio at 200%. And then that trending song between like five and seven percent so like it's there and it'll show on the TikTok algorithm but it doesn't overpower your video and oh, this will boost it up yeah so that's like mixing the two so exactly. that it feels authentic oh i love it okay and and yeah so there's been a lot of research on that that it works and then from there when you're done with your video and right before you post it, you want to add some hashtags, but you don't want to add so many. You want to add between three and eight hashtags, no more than eight, because then like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this on your TikTok, but you'll watch a video and there's like this whole gap of all these words and then you can't really see the actual video, right? So you want to add between three and eight, eight hashtags that are specific to your video. Don't add like, trending hashtag all these like trending hashtags you want to be like hashtag face painting hashtag balloon twisting hashtag is your video funny uh things of this nature so you you want to be specific we do have a question who is someone is asking what percent for the video uh, for the music in your audio again yeah between five and seven percent unless it's like unless the song you want it to be a part of your video like if it adds to it then you can add a lot more volume but if you just want it there to make your video trending uh between five and seven percent okay you so that's for the that. actual trending song okay that's awesome mm -hmm. so a lot of people don't know that you can get paid by tiktok and granted yeah. you know it's just like with youtube it's just like with any time that you're an influencer that you you know have lots of following that's what essentially it's based on talk to us a little bit about getting paid on paid by TikTok because some people might say to themselves if I treat it like a full or part-time job with the same amount of energy that I would um, you know with a another job then I would be able to generate that kind of income how do you feel about that I completely agree for many many people TikTok is a full-time job now I will tell you I only post one video a day because like I I have so many things to do, I can't post like five times a day. But for those that have a lot more free time, that can post between one to three times a day, it will be your full-time job and you can make money. So there's two things I wanna mention. First, how much you make. You can make between two to four cents every 1,000 views. Oh, now, that, that doesn't sound like a lot, but let's say if you post three times a day and all of those videos get 10,000 views, that's 30,000 views right there. That's a few dollars that you have in your pocket that like took you only a few minutes to create. If you do this every day, you could make more money than what you make at a face painting gig for an hour. 
you can it's possible because all of your views add up so like all of your old videos will keep cha-chinging right in your TikTok bank all of the about. old ones and that's amazing so how do like how do you monetize yourself on TikTok so there's a certain location when you go to your settings on TikTok where you have to change your account and you have like a personal account, you have a business account, and you have a creator account. That's the only way that TikTok will pay you is if you have a creator account. Then you need to have the like the um, milestone of 10,000 views, 10,000 followers, and one video needs to have 100,000 views. Once you hit that criteria, you're already eligible to be monetized on TikTok. Okay. That's super interesting. Well, gosh, I wish that we had all day to, you know, answer all these questions because this is definitely an interesting and trending topic because as most of us who are artists, we're looking for ways to jump back in, get our name back out there, put our businesses back on the map. And I've noticed like with your TikTok, you know, you're doing more of like kind of like the parodies and the funny, you know, spins on you as a, um, you know, scenario as a face painter where Josh our great friend Josh who's coming up next um, does more of like you know his talent videos of you know showing his crazy balloon sculptures from a dress would you say that it's better that people pick like one kind of style and stick to that or do you think that they should you know create a variety so that's a really that's a really really great question and I would say for people that videos that aren't doing well right now test everything until you find that click and replicate it to the best of your ability by adding a different spin each time but i know for some people <clears throat> doing just face painting videos might not do well but if you do a skit or if you do something like extravagant right then it'll blow up and you are on your way to being a uh, influencer <laughs> so freaking would you think that in your life like you're in college right now would you think that your life would be of an influencer absolutely not I, I I'd How? rather I'd rather like sit under a rock and like not be seen by anyone but here I am <laughs> well none of us can tell that well I want to say thank you so much Gabby we're gonna me and you will continue this one part two uh and when we can do our next live on Faba TV um you have been such a great asset to our team if you read the comments on the right hand side people just love you they love your energy and what you bring to our uh community and not and not not just our community, but to Faba TV specifically. Um, when I created Faba TV, believe it or not, it was really just to be able to share every piece that I loved about our industry with the rest of the industry. Because, you know, being in Florida, I can't be in Singapore at the same time, but I can share it through platforms like this. And, you know, having the right team was so crucial in the fact that I found you and you bring lots of cool uh, knowledge to the platform of TikTok and such. Uh, we're all very extremely grateful for you. So this brings me to our next topic, Gabby, don't go away. Um, okay. So our next topic is Faba TV. For those of you that are watching, for those of you that registered for the Fabaic virtual, for those of you that are registered for Fabaic 2022, this is your Faba TV weekend, okay? You get unlimited access to Faba TV. You get to watch Gabby's corner. You get to watch my classes, Margie's classes, Marcelo's classes, Mateo, Nick, Jocelyn, uh, Annalie, Lenore, Melissa money there's probably over 200 teachers now okay so you get the whole weekend you get to start right now it's in, you're, the login is in your email so you can log in and start enjoying we want to see what you create join our Faba TV forum that Gabby and I run so that you can post your pictures tell us who you love tell us who you want to see more of that's why we created Faba TV so with that being said we are so 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 excited uh, to have everybody on here if you have questions about logging Logging into Faba TV, please let us know. Um, all we need you to do is simply uh, just write us, and we're more than happy uh, to help you out and help you get logged in and help you make the most out of it. Okay, so um, Gabby, everybody wants to know if you will teach a class on TikTok on Faba TV. Absolutely. Yes, that way you can break it down and I can help you put um, all of those graphics in the background so we can have visuals as to what you what each piece means, right? 
That'll, I mean, that'll All be right. awesome for Perfect. everyone. Yeah. All right, everybody give Gabby a round of applause. Thank you awesome. so much, Gabby. You rock. Now, you. that takes me in to, thank you, Gabby. Don't leave that. Okay, that takes me into our next special guest on Fava TV. Um, I had a chance to meet him at the ACE convention and I knew from the minute I met him and his wife that he would be an amazing teacher and that he was an amazing entertainer. So we called him up and we said, can, we sh can you share some of your talent with us? And he was more than happy to send us a video on how to make a super cool balloon butterfly since, you know, this is Fabaic, that's our logo. So if you love Josh, he's coming up next. If you love learning from him, you can go to his channel on Fava TV, plus enjoy the 600 other classes. So without further ado, Josh, take it away. So here's how to make a fun butterfly out of balloon. So first you're gonna start with two colors and you're gonna leave about a hand's width or about three to four inches uninflated. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna create a giant loop where you have about a three inch bubble and a three inch bubble and then you're gonna twist it together right there, okay? So you have two bubbles that are roughly the same size. Okay, then we're gonna set this to side and do the same thing with the other ones. Where again, we're aiming for about a three inch bubble and a three inch bubble. Okay, just like that, okay? Then we're gonna do is we're going to take these two, we're gonna grab it in the back and we're gonna take the front and we're gonna twist it all the way around so it ends up like this, because I like it when the colors are cross each other, okay? Then I take the two knots, tie it together, just like this. Then we're going to take this, stretch the end, and you hold it right here, okay? But don't pinch it closed, just hold it loosely, and then you're going to squeeze and pretend to blow air into it, just like that. So what you're going to do again, stretch the end of it. Then you're going to hold your fingers right here. Again, don't squeeze it. You're just holding it so it can't expand. And then what you're doing is as you pretend to blow, you're squeezing this with your hand and pretending to blow. It's just a cute little trick. It works great for butterfly. Then I like to give it heart wings. So you put your hands together like this. You're going to squeeze all that air out, okay, just like this, and then let it back in. And I usually do that like two or three times, and that gives you a nice heart shape. Okay, then we're going to do it to the other side. We're going to take it like you're doing a pull-up. You're going to put it in one hand. And you're going to squeeze all that air out and let it back in. Again, I normally do that two or three times so it gets a nice curve right there. Okay? And then I like having those little heart wings for a butterfly. Okay? Then what you do is you're going to take a clear. And this one I only inflated about halfway. And you want to wrap it around. And what this is, it just gives us a little stick so we can make our butterfly fly around. So just by tapping the back of it, you can make the kids fly the butterfly. But that is a very simple, easy butterfly. Yeah, but before I have to go over the classes. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Josh. You are amazing. I had the privilege of hosting him in my house for a couple of days, and I just wanted to keep him uh, because I showed him something that I thought he knows everything about balloons, and he was just fascinated by my little technique, and, and now he took it to other levels, so hopefully tomorrow we can show you a video about that. Uh, so talking about instructors, um, I wanted to thank our wonderful instructors that we were able to gather. Uh, we're only teaching four classes, but they're live. And again, these are really amazing, amazing artists. Uh, tomorrow morning again at 10 o'clock is Milena from Russia. Uh, she will have an interpreter, so don't worry. Then in the afternoon from 2 to 4, we have Maggie Acosta. She's going to be teaching a UV painting and how to use those types of paints. Uh, Milena is going to be teaching how to use the little stencils that she designed for the faces, which I really want to learn. Then on Sunday, Dandy is going to be a little bit more advanced class uh, and it's on what he does best, which is the monsters. So if you're into Halloween and monsters and you want to prepare yourself for October, don't miss that class. And then at two o'clock, we have Gillian. Uh, Childs from the UK, and she's going to show you more simpler designs that are mask friendly that kids will absolutely love, and that's two to four. Okay, so let's uh, 
watch the video uh, from our instructor so you can see what they do. See, I told you they are amazing. And then there's so many amazing people out there teaching nowadays. It's uh, a little intimidating sometimes, but don't be intimidated because we all have different styles, we're at different levels, and we all the whole thing is about learning from each other. Okay. Well, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited because I love to give prizes away more than anything else. So I think I'm going to give a whole set of global brushes to one lucky winner. So let's see who will that be. And this one goes to Timmy Bond from Mexico. Oh, Timmy. You won, Timmy. <laughs> okay, Timmy Bond from Mexico won a whole set of brushes from, um, from who was it? Uh, Global Brush. Okay, Timmy, this will go for you. Actually, what I need you to do is I need you to tell Timmy, little Timmy, Timito, that he promised to come and visit me. So I will give it to him when he gets here. <laughs> Okay, that was really awesome. Okay, like one more, because like again, I have so many to give away, so many. Okay, let's see who this one is. I hope it's somebody I know very uh, Oh, dear, uh, my sister, Pes Pesconi, what's her name? Can you read? Sorry, I'm everybody. sorry. My sister has the worst writing ever. Drea. I can... Oh, Drea. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Drea, you won. Oh, okay. Let me see. And you know what, Drea? I am going to give you this right now. I am going to give you the Craze palette. Look at that. Look at those colors. I mean, we really, you know, with the help of all these awesome sponsors and awesome products, we really do color the world one face at a time. <laughs> So thank you, thank you, uh, Chris and uh, Drew. This goes to you, Drea. Drea, I'm sorry, Drea. That goes to you. Okay. Now today is the last day that you can register to compete tomorrow night. Now the competition is open to people that register either for the full convention or for the virtual convention. However, is open for anybody that would like to watch. And um, it is tomorrow night. Uh, if you are competing, you must report to the Zoom meeting that uh, in the link that you were giving and at 5.30 p.m. to set up your pains, uh, to get ready for it. And the competition starts promptly at 6 p.m. And during the competition, it's going to be opening soon for anybody that wants to kind of hang around and watch what they're doing. Uh, but also at the same time, we're going to have a very special guest. And I'm not going to tell you who it is, but it is a very special guest. And believe me, you're going to want to be there tomorrow night to be with this special guest. Okay. So um, let's the rules of the competitions, again, they're very, very simple. You just show up at 5.30. You're ready to go at 6. I'm going to show you a video that tells you what is allowed, what is not allowed, and who your awesome judges are. So let's play it here.
Okay, okay. And the big surprise is that one of our judges, one of my most favorite people in the world, is uh, here with us today, is Marcela Bustamante. I met Marcelita a few years back. She came to take one of my classes and she told me she was a very beginner. And then when she started doing her brush techniques, I said, what? You're a beginner? Let me slap you <laughs> because she's one of those people that was just born with a brush in her hand and her techniques are so clean and she's just such a wonderful person and such a wonderful teacher. So I invited her today and she's also one of our sponsors. So at the end of her uh, little thing that we're going to do right now, interview, then she's going, we're going to raffle one, one set of her wonderful brushes. So let's put her in. Well, hold on how long do you have to complete your design for the competition? Okay, the question was how long do you have a time to co to comp how long do you have to compete to complete your design for the competition? It was on the video, but again, the competition is from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. At 8, at 8 p.m., you put your brushes down and then you have 10 minutes to upload your finished design on an album in the face Fabe 22 forum, okay? And then the judges will go afterwards and they will look at all of the pictures and they will talk amongst each other and they will score you and figure out who the three top winners are, okay? So it's from six to eight. It's a face painting competition. However, you are allowed to use from the chest up if you wanted to add a little bit more to it. Uh, again, you're not, I don't have the list in front of me because it was on the video, but you are not allowed to use acrylic paints. You're not allowed to use prosthetics of any kind. Um, you are allowed to use false eyelashes, hairspray. You, of course, your paint, your brushes, but no airbrush. Okay, so I will post the video again online this afternoon so you can see it again, even though I have already posted it and pinned it in a couple of our forums, but uh, I will post it here. So make sure that if you have any more questions, you can watch the video again and uh, get all your, your questions answered, okay? Okay, are we ready for my friend, Marcelita? Hey! <laughs> Love you. How are you? Oh, we're doing really, really good. We're doing really good. Okay. Are I'm you so excited for this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Marcelita. So are you going to show our friends a couple of uh, your techniques with your beautiful brushes? Yes, I will. I will do some line work. Let me show you. Um, Heather, can you put the other camera, please? The one that I'm going to be using for the one stroke. I'm uh, logging in the other one too can you i want to show this i want to do one of this okay, there you, go. you know but then i have can you see this other camera right here we don't she says we don't see your other camera no the other one okay don't, don't worry okay i will try to do it like this instead all right okay there you go. Okay. okay no problem let's you see you gotta go into it you have to log into it i did i log in with my phone in the other one. Let me see. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. No, right? Some line work, yes. Right, some source, of course. You know that I love source and line work. I'm gonna be using this liner, script liner number three. Okay, and these kind of designs, 
I went to a graduation, to middle school graduation last uh, Friday. And, you know, they want me to be doing um, face painting. And I say, are you sure you don't want me to do henna? Because, you know, that age, they prefer um, henna or something, you know, small. They want to get their face painted. And I said, no, no, because the, the Monday they need to go back to school. So I don't want them uh, to be wearing a, um, a tattoo. And I said, okay, don't worry. So I started painting this kind of designs. Uh, let's see this. And in their hands, okay, for the girls. They loved it. The, 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 the line was huge. And everyone was there so happy and taking, taking selfies um, with this. You know, I did just limes on their uh, necklace, on the chest. They were so happy. And it was better than, you know, face painting with that age. Okay. Uh, the white that I'm using is the is uh, tack tack white. Let me do this other one just really quick. I don't know how many. Okay. And then I'm gonna do this. Try to make it symmetrical. Okay. I'm so excited for Sunday. For the big patty. This is going to be so fun. Let's see. So many good prices and gifts. Let's see. So when you create some this line work, sometimes you need to get a, like a focal point and other times you just need to go with the flow. Play with the lines, make them some good movement. Okay. Make on some source of the I can't see any comments. I don't know. I'm not sure if you can hear me. Oh, there we go. Hi, can you Marcia. tell us what brushes you're using right now? What I'm size? Using the liner number three is blazing brush. And I like this one because it has that extra long bristles and it's not too thin. The, the number one is very thin. It's good to make some uh, like outlining. But if you want to make like a butterfly or something like di directly with this one, you know, this is the best option. I don't know how many more minutes do I have. I know that there were only 10. Is there anything specific okay. that you do uh, to, it just flows so easily for you, for a lot of people. I'm one of them in particular that uh, 
mind fresh thoughts don't flow as gracefully as yours. Is there anything, maybe the way you hold your brush, uh, the way you move your wrist, the pressure that you put on it? Is there anything specific that you can think of? That I think makes the your pressure is it's, so it's a big thing. So you need to pressure, for example, not the entire time, just a little bit and then release and then pressure again and then combine that with some movement. And once you create like the first stroke, then you can still add in, you know, the lines like um, according and going along with that first, um, the first stroke. So if I have that, then I have to go, I'm gonna add some lines, like going along with those, with that one. See, small different sizes, press a little bit and then release. And then you can have the dots. Is the brush that you're using the brush that you use the most? Yes. <laughs> this is my favorite. And then I call this one my baby. Is the Ultra Point that it has that and very thin tip. Let me show you this, this one. Uh, it's very different. Let me show you the, the difference between the bristles is almost the same as the liner number three, but this one is fat. Then you, you can create very, very thin lines and fat at the same time. And of course, in the paper is so hard. Let me show you right here, how you can use that very thin oh, tip. Okay. So and I always mention make the lines thicker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always mention um, how I start doing the my line work. Um, watching Heather's YouTube channel, the first one, the one of the first her first video. It was like uh, the lighting, <laughs> it was very good, but her, she explained everything very, very well. And she was using this uh, skin simul uh, boards and she was doing like the, the normal sores and, and teardrops. And that's how it helps, uh, you know, that's how I start doing my, my line work and then you know practicing yes but these are my two favorite brushes the liner number three and the ultra point uh number four show us the rest of the brushes that are on the package that we are uh going to give away just uh, you don't have to paint with them uh just go over them and maybe tell us what they're uh, really good for because somebody's going to okay. win this as soon as you finish. Yes. Okay. It's um, the one that you have there. It's a set of uh, the seven brushes. One of the special one is this one, the um, the dagger. I love I love this one. You know, to make very thin, and then when you put it fat, then you have that fat part. Well, it makes it beautiful, uh, really. Yes, I love this brush to make some flowers and leaves. It's very, very special. Then it comes with the four rounds, number five, four, three, and two. Okay. What an awesome flowers. Yes. You know, a painter could never have enough brushes. Uh-huh. <laughs> And then that one includes the, the liner. Okay, the liner number three that I was um, using before. Your favorite one. Yes. Uh -huh. So the, the number two is, is 
perfect to make some little details when you're making the, the unicorn eyes and those little things that you need to be very precise. So the number two and three are very good. And the four and five more for dragons, butterfly, quick butterflies that you don't have too much time to do details. So you need to go super fast. So those are perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, wow. Masmita, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, we love you. We love your products. I am so proud of you and everything that you have accomplished, even your English. <laughs> Remember, for a long time, you, you wouldn't speak because you were so afraid of speaking. And look, now you're bilingual, so I give you a lot of credit. Uh, I love to have had the privilege to watch you grow in this business, to become uh, the the person that you have become, the artist that you have become, and that such admired artists. And it's not just your incredible, amazing talent, which I recognized from the very first day I, I met you, but it's your personality and your beautiful spirit and that beauty that you have that comes from the inside out. So please keep gracing us for a long, long time with your teaching, with yourself, with everything that you do. And now we're going to pick a winner before you okay. go. Uh, well, it is raffle tickets. Okay. So I'm going to pick a winner for okay. this book. I'm going to check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Close my eyes. And the winner for Marcela Bustamante's brushes is Carmen Gunter. B A R T L. <laughs> she must be from somewhere else, but Carmen Gunter, G U E N T E R. So if you know Carmen, tell us she won an awesome set of brushes from Marcela Bustamante. And please keep her. Thank you so much for being with us. We look forward to having you tomorrow as one of the judges for the competition. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Sure that you and and um, all the other two judges are going to be very impressed with what our friends are going to be doing, uh, because I've seen some of the work on the internet and it's like wow. I always said you know the wow has become my new mantra because every time I turn the computer on, I just go wow, wow. wow. <laughs> Well, thank you, Marcelita, for being with us. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Congratulations, thank you. To your dad, graduated, and you look absolutely stunning. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, let me put this on again because these little things don't like to stay in my ear. Do what? Oh, okay. I don't need them right now. Oh, yeah, because we got somebody else coming next. Uh, we have another interview that you're really going to love because it's about something that is very dear to me and it's painting from the heart. And it's not just about your painting, but about taking care of yourself. Um, so uh, we're, we're going to have somebody. But I want to remind you that right after the interview with Jasmine Hart, I love her. Uh, it's going to be one of my dearest friends. Actually, she's like a daughter to me. Uh, her name is Margie Cantor. All of you know, you also know she's one of the most fun teachers to take classes from because of her type of art. Uh, we uploaded uh, a set of uh, drawings because she's going to show you how to animate all your caricatures and your cartoons just with the eyes by changing the expression in the eyes so make sure that you have your paints next to you make sure you have your paints and your balloons next to you also tomorrow at all times because you just never know when we have a surprise guest that's going to come over like marcella and teach you how to do something where you need to get your brushes out and your paints out okay so now let me look at my little sketch oh we're going over here um okay so um again i am going to bring a beautiful lady another one like marcella beautiful from the inside out and she just glows and when you see her and when you see her smile and when you see her art uh you just by looking at her you know that she's a really special person so we're gonna bring her in okay. hi Oh, there she is. <laughs> Hi, Marcella. Hello, You're going to make me cry. I need to put started. the volume up in here a little, Heather. Is it possible? Uh, can she hear me? These little things don't... I don't know why this... Okay. <laughs> I don't know why this don't stay in my ear. You have to clean your ear sometimes. 
<laughs> Hold on, Jasmine. I'm gonna use, I never wear them. I wear the big ones like this. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and the running is there. Sorry. Okay, sorry. She had to teach me this. Okay, can you hear me, Jasmine? Yes, I can Jasmine. hear you. How do you pronounce it exactly, your, your name? Yasmin. Jasmine. Nice. Yeah. Well, you look beautiful. You glow. In oh, the last picture you. that you sent you us, too. oh my God, with that blue design that, that came from your face and, and it went on onto your chest, it was just stunning. Thank you. Um, so anyway, Jasmine, uh, tell us just a little bit about yourself, where you live, uh, how did you first got started face painting, and we'll take it from there. Okay, well, I am Yasmin Hart. Um, I am 29 years old and I've been in Tallahassee my whole life in Florida, bright and shining Florida. Um, I have always been super creative and I, can you still hear me? I hope you can hear me. <laughs> um, but I've always been a really creative person. Um, always knew that I wanted to make um, creativity be my career. So I just knew that, you know, even after working with a local family entertainment business for a while, um, I knew that I would want to start my own business, which I did in the beginning of 2020. So um, after that, is everything okay? Hopefully, technical difficulties. I don't see you anymore. Okay, are we back? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Hopefully we can figure this out. I can't hear you. I have it. Can you hear me now? It's, it's really low. But I can hear you. Okay, I have it on full. Okay, I think that's better now. Okay, because I okay. have it on full. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's, like I said, these little things don't like to stay on, on my on my ears. And then I push something and something else came up and I lost you. So I it's go, okay. Thank God Heather is here today. <laughs> yeah, she saves the day every day. <laughs> Always does. Well, I missed a little bit of your answer. But I, I know a little bit about yourself. I just wanted to make sure that everybody watching to knew about it. So let me ask you some things. When did you realize that you wanted to start your career in the face and body art world? Well, How it didn't did take long. long. Yes, I, um, I started working in the face and body art world um, in 2013. And then 2014 came around and I heard about Fabaic. And when I went, it changed my life. It changed my perspective um, on just being a creative in general and knowing how big and how vast and how international this face and body art world is. It just blew my mind. And still to this day, that's the, the one moment that I really truly remember knowing that this is something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life, really. <laughs> it's a calling. It is, it really it's it a calling. is, that's it's the best a... way to put it. Yeah, and everybody gets led to it in different ways. Yeah. But it is a calling. It's not for everybody. No, it's but, not. <laughs> uh, but, you know, the most wonderful people in the world are really part of this small world that we belong to. Yes. And you're definitely one of them. Oh, thank you. You too. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, this creative business can be very hard on artists like yourself especially in the year of 2020, which was so difficult for many of us. Uh, what are some of the things that you that have helped you to push through these difficult times? Um, I will be completely frank. Um, 2020 was really hard on me, as I know for everybody else. Um, I had points where I was really depressed. I was really anxious. Um, things just didn't come as easily to me. And I knew that I had to find myself again. I had to find what I was passionate about and I had to find what made me, me. And that was really what encouraged me and obviously having an amazing family support and my fiance really helped me through that. Um, try not to get emotional, but it really truly made a huge difference to know that the face and body art world was also so supportive. And I was pre presented with so many opportunities in that world that I never would have expected had 2020 not happened the way it did. So some things that really helped me was just to come up with a regular routine for myself especially in the morning 
to get started on the right foot so that the rest of the day would go well, making myself a cup of tea, going outside, getting some exercise in, you know, because if I don't have a full cup, I can't give the way I want to give. So exactly. I know that I have to take care of myself to be able to help other people the way that I want to help other people and the way that I want to inspire. So it was really important for me to find little ways here and there to make myself feel loved and appreciated and make sure that I could show up every day. Yeah, because self, self love is the most important love that we can have. Yes. We need to love ourselves if we want others to love us. And I think that this year, as hard as it was, it was very, it was a great learning experience for many of us. I know I learned a lot. Yeah. Um, a lot of us reinvented ourselves. A lot of us use our art in many different ways, not just face painting, but we found other ways to use it, to sell it, to enjoy it, to share other people up. Uh, so it, it wasn't as bad, you know, and we are coming out of it. And next yes. year, 2022, you know, we're going to keep the energy up. We're all going to think positive. We're all going to keep thinking in the train of thought because that's so important for everybody. We make things happen that Fabeg next year is just going to be perfect and it's going to be fun and we're going to be able to hug each other. Yes. Because <laughs> I miss hugging. <laughs> so can let me ask you something. Who and what inspires you? I will say my greatest inspiration is really myself. Not to sound conceited, but I just know mm -hmm. that there's so much that I'm capable of and knowing that I finally opened up my mind and my heart to accept that, it's made a really big difference. But also just having so many strong women, um, women especially, I know there are strong men out there too, but women for me, women that are, are not afraid to break the stereotypes and to achieve supposedly unachievable things really inspire me every day. Women like you, women like Heather, women like my mom, women like teachers that have helped me throughout the years. Um, it's just insane to me to think about how many women change this world for the better. Um, and then also just having a great family system and a great family in the face and body art world as well. A great a painting family. So it's-, it's so And a fiance. Have, <laughs> yes, the support from you guys is incredible. Um, it's it's Thank you. indescribable. And I definitely feel so much love and so much appreciation that I, didn't really feel before. You know, I, I feel like that support from each other is so important. And that's how we came out on top after 2020 and are really making a move in 2021 and beyond. So just having an awesome support system in you guys too has really made yeah. such a world of a difference. Yeah, it's a small world, but it's it a, a small world. It's a small exactly. world, but it's such a beautiful world that we belong to. Surrounded by color, surrounded by art, surrounded by beauty, surrounded by beautiful people. Yes. It's just, we're just so lucky. You, we're blessed. We are. Okay. And uh, before we leave, can you just give us some tips for growing confidence in yourself? I will say that just being your authentic self is number one. You are the only person like you in the world, and I'm the only person like me. And that's what makes us so strong and so beautiful and unique and being the main character of your life making sure to just like wear the red lipstick wear the heels wear that beautiful yeah it dress. looks great on you yes i was like wear whatever you want express yourself and do things that make you yes wear that beautiful hat that marcella always rocks and the earrings because if 2020 taught us anything is that you know there's so little time to do what you love and to express yourself and to be you that you know you shouldn't have to wait for a special occasion to just be you and be confident in being you make every day a special day and make every day a day that you express yourself to the fullest so that's yeah because <laughs> doing that prepares you for any emergency and yes. as we learn is that an emergency can last a crisis can last a day or an hour or a full year Exactly. But if we're prepared from the inside, no matter what happens to us, we will find acceptance and we will find a way out of it. And we will just surf through it with calm because also there's nothing better than peace of mind. Of course. I couldn't have said it well, better myself. 
Yeah, well, Jasmine, thank you so, so, so much. It was a pleasure having us here with us. I'm sure that everybody watching um, enjoyed you as much as we enjoyed you. And, and we love you. And love we think you. that you're beautiful. And I want to go to your wedding. <laughs> I love yes. it. <laughs> and you look absolutely stunning. You are glowing. Thank you so, so thank you much. for being with us. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, Rafa. Okay, wasn't she wonderful? I mean, she's, you know, people like her, it's like you look at them and you know they're walking the right path and you know that they're heading the, the right way. And there's such an inspiration uh, to all of us. And like she says, you know, we need to love ourselves and we need to be good with ourselves before we can go out there in the public and be good to them and, and touch them up. And oh my goodness, Claudia keeps bringing me more presents. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll see what that is. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Well, we're going to give up more prizes. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to open this one up. This is a prize from my friends at Snazaru. I'm not really sure what's inside, but I'm going to look and, oh, look at all these goodies. You have sponges, you have glitter, you have brushes, and you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pains okay so let's see who is going to be the winner of this awesome prize okay here it is and then don't forget to get your paints out and everything because my friend Marge oops I'm going to put it in here because my friend Marge is coming over and she's going to teach you how to have fun while you paint and it's going to be so exciting I can't wait because I'm going to use what she's teaching, you know what, to paint roses, to paint my rocks. Because I'm painting, I'm doing a garden of rocks and painting rocks every single day. So I can wait for her class. Because anything that you learn on face painting, you can actually transfer it to other mediums. Okay, so Tracy Anderson, you are the winner of this Nasseru Prize. Thank you so much, Nasseru, for this awesome box. And um, there you go. Okay, and Claudia says, there's a sale at Silly Farm until Sunday. Uh, use code MEM21. I wonder what MEN stands for. We always try to do the codes for meaning something, but I don't know what MEN stands for. But the code is MEN21. And you will get a free fanny pack from last year's Fabake with any order over $25. Uh, the Susie Amaro's new cakes, and you will see her tomorrow, are on sale uh, 3 for 36 and you receive a free flat brush to go with them. Um, and the large Glimmer Body Art Kit, uh, you get 160 extra stencils and you get of the large stencils and you get 80 extra of the small stencils. So you can do a lot of glitter tattoos. And you know, the summer is coming and better than face painting during the summer for those pool parties are these glitter tattoos because the children love them. Uh, they're easy to do. They can go in the pool, they can take a shower and they will last for a couple of days. So prepare yourself with a glitter tattoo kit. Um, and then please look for our newsletter and subscribe. Don't believe you get a fanny pack. <laughs> I forgot what they call them in the UK because you can say fanny because fanny Fanny is your, I don't know what it is, but anyway, I am ready for, for another, I am ready for another prize before while Marge is getting ready with her kid and everything. Um, is she going to be here, Heather? She is going to play a, a clip from around the world. And okay, so we're going to clip, we're going to, we're going to, uh, play a little clip for you again and maybe uh, for the people that are still asking maybe we can show the competition video one more time but I want to raffle a couple more things and after Margie's class there's more prices and then we're going to close with a very very special awesome friend of mine okay all right so I'm going to give away more brushes because we got, we don't we can't have enough brushes I think all of us are brush holders there's a uh, only one person or two people, and that's 
uh, Nick Wolf, who carries two brushes with him, and he does masterpieces with those two brushes. I have about 60. I don't know how many of you guys have. But Mary Carmen Vargas, you win a set of my favorite brushes. They're the Gold Deluxe brushes from Silly Farm. Make sure I put this in here. I love, love, love these brushes, but then I love every single brush in my kit. So we're gonna put them in here, and this one goes to Mari Carmen Vargas. And remember, when you get a prize, please write your, the sponsor a little note saying thank you so much for your generosity during the virtual fabric, and thank him for giving you that. And look, I still got a lot of prizes to give away, so you know what? I'm gonna give one more while we get ready. This is a friend of mine. Her name is Kristen Scott. If you follow her on Facebook, she is the best cookie and candy maker in all of the United States as far as I'm concerned. So, you know, and she's also a super, super, super nice person. And you are the next person is going to win a box that contains two fairy scones, cloth cream jam, exclusive magic color tea oh i never heard of that a cup and saucer and fairy lights whoa look at that prize so uh i'm gonna be no heather it cannot be it cannot be you i'm sorry so okay we're going to okay and lourdes janos <laughs> This goes to you, and don't worry if you were like all of us who gained weight last year. Don't worry, a little bit more is not going to make you feel good <laughs> because you got to eat that. Uh, okay, and we, where were we now? Okay, now we're going to show you a couple more videos, and Margie's going to get ready. And when I come back, we're going to give the rest of the prizes away, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody really, really special, and then we're going to take it from there, okay? Fancy Faces by Diane in Millington, Tennessee. See you all at the bank in 2022. Hello, here from Russell, Ontario, Canada. This is uh, Jackie, well, Jackie Internachter from Jackie's Face Painting, and I hope to see you at Fabea 2022. Bye! Hello, this is Gio Guzman from Lima. My company is Gigi Space Painting and I'll be coming from Texas to teach you at Fabric 2022. I can't wait to meet you there. Nos vemos. Bye. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Belinda Bonica and I am from Austria. That's a very small country in the middle of Europe. 
I fell in love with face painting in 2009 and I've been painting every single day now for more than five years. So I know exactly how important practice is and how much you can improve your skills by getting inspired and learning from other artists around the world. So today I did an old traditional Austrian style of painting called Bauernmalerei, maybe translated as farmer's painting. Um, in the 18th century, people in my region started to paint wooden furniture or small items with ornaments inspired by flowers, by native flowers. And that became very popular. So most foreign people associate with Austria the mountains and that kind of hairstyle and that kind of dressing. And yeah, maybe they even think we are yodeling all the time. But actually, most of us don't. So if you want to meet me, how I actually look like, and if you want to get to know more about my country and me, I'm looking forward to see you at the Bake 2022. It's a small world and I'm very happy to be a part of it. Bye! Hello from New York City! My name is Melissa Munn and I look forward to seeing you at the Bake 2022. Woo! Hey guys! How are you? It's Margie Canner here and I am going to share with you a little bit of concept drawing and help you to make your cartoons a little bit more expression, add, add a little more expression. So what I have here um, is a little lion and we're going to paint and draw different eyes. We're going to take it from concept drawing to face painting. Okay. So what I want to do first is just basically show you how to draw this lion and then we'll start doing the expressions. So if you have paper and pen, you can follow along. If not, just basically watch me do it, all right? So everything I do when I'm drawing these, I try to keep it symmetrical. So I'll do one side, then I'll do the other, then I'll do one side, then I'll do the other. And I always start right in the center, okay? So to start my drawings, whenever I'm thinking about putting something on a face. I start with a very basic drawing. So here's like, it's a little dirty, but this is what I was working on. So here's the basic drawing of that lion, okay? So to start, I'm gonna use a marker so that you guys can see it because I think the pencils are gonna be too light. So I always start with the nose and the nose kind of has a V shape on the bottom and oval towards the top, okay? Then I go one side, I go one, two, then the other side, one, two, and then I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna come down on this side, and then I'm gonna come straight across, and then I'm gonna come straight down there, so it separates it. Now I'm gonna make a little U, and then I'm gonna make another U, so when you're drawing, think of it in shapes and letters and different things like that. And that really helps you to design things very simply and very basic um, because you want to create a design that's easy to paint, fast to paint. When uh, my drawings and my paintings are all for on the job stuff. Okay. So now I'm going to come up to the top here and I'm going to go right to center of the nose and straight down. So it's like an M, right? Like the McDonald's M, think of it that way. And then here I'm gonna make a little oval. Same thing on that side. And now thinking about how I did the muzzle here, I'm gonna do the same thing. One, two, and bring it in. Over here, one, Trying to make it so you can see, sorry, two, and bring it in. Now you have the ears, 
Okay, it's starting to look like something. So with the lion's teeth, I'm going to make a big one, little, 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 big. And then down here, just kind of a squiggle. And now I'm going to color this in. Now you have instant teeth, right? Okay, now I'm going to add a little tuft of hair here. So I do like four. And now the really most important part is the mane. And sometimes child has a smaller forehead. So you have to adjust the mane to work with the forehead. So I'm going to do one, two, three. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a big, little, little, big, little, little, big, little, little, big, and then just kind of keep on following that design all the way around. When you do this with your brush, you're going to create a, a softer line. And the thing about it, when you're, when you're creating your um, characters, you want to make sure that you leave just enough room down here because this is actually going to be where the eyes are of the person, right? And this little mouth kind of fits right in that area there. Now I'm going to make this concept into a mask, so I don't necessarily want to go all the way down with the mane. Just like that, okay? Now, we're gonna create some eyes. So I wanna make this one, oh, actually I wanna add just a little bit of, in the main there. So you can add a couple little tufts here and there so it looks fluffier, okay? And then for the eyes, we're gonna do cute little eyes. So Marcella likes my cute little eyes. So almost like a U. And then so a U that's bigger on one side and shorter on the other and teardrop. Okay. Now, if you were creating eyes and you wanted to add color, um, you would do this in a, in a couple of steps. So you would do a smaller and a bigger, a smaller and a bigger. And this is where you would put the color right there. And this is where you would put the highlights. So I'll show you that when we do our actual painting. And then I just like that. And that's basically the lion. Done quickly. Remember keeping it balanced, okay? And I did this with a marker, so it's pretty unforgiving. <laughs> so what I would do with that if I was going to be painting it, is I would do something like that. So the lion fits in that section. I'm not a huge, um, I don't use a lot of stencils. I like to curve and create leaves and things. But what I love about um, the face painting community is people really have gotten creative with their stencils. And um, Andrea O'Donnell like is the original stencil queen to me. And so, if you guys got a bunch of stencils in your in your kit that you received in your box, I want you to all kind of play with those stencils, create a little lion, and then, you know, make your own, make it your own, okay? Now I'm going to show you some eyes. Okay, so we already did the cutesy eyes, so we're going to do like an angry eye. So you go line up the center like that. And you swoop it up like that and swoop it up like that. And then you're going to bring it around like that and bring it around like that. It's as simple as that. And when you're angry, sometimes you're like really frustrated. So I'm going to make, instead of, I'm going to make him swirls in there. So he looks like he's really angry. He's so mad. He's, not even, they're not even eyes, right? They're just like little swirlies. Just a couple little fun to-dos. 
Now, if you were going to make just your eyes closed, you could do something as simple as creating a U and creating a U and a line, line. That's almost like the little My Little Pony eyes. That's just a simple, gosh, I don't have a lot of time. I really got to create something fast, okay? Now I'm going to make like a little surprise look. I do this a lot on monkeys. So you make a little eye and then a really big eye and then just a little dot in the center. You can create high eyebrows that are a little off center. And that's pretty basic and simple. And then for our last set of eyes, we'll just do a cutesy. I'll show you the cutesy one more time. So you go around, around. Now you can make these eyes looking in every, any direction you want. So with cutesy, I like to make them up like this. Just kind of looking off to that way. Okay, and these are just single highlights in there. I'll show you how to create a double highlight once we get um, to painting. And I just do lashes. So one, a little bigger, a little smaller. Lashes make them super sweet. Like that. Okay, so there's a basic eye eyes for any character. So if you wanted to make this character into a dog, you could simply remove those ears and, and create the ears up here. You can you just have to start thinking outside of the box and changing them up. This is a very basic character. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to paint him. So if you wanna follow along with me, go on ahead. The thing about cartoons is they can be any color that you want them to be. All right. Sometimes I use my dauber to uh, create eyes. Other times I use just a basic um, paint pal brush. You all see that? This is my favorite, the little drop, because I can paint fat edges and tight edges. Okay. So we're going to start by putting his nose in the center. So you just go like this, remembering that shape. Okay. And then I'm going to use a little bit of gold. And again, create the shape of Just like that. Kind of strange for me to paint on these boards. Much easier for me to paint on a face. I'm kind of spoiled that way. If you want, you could also use a very small brush if you're not comfortable. So you can really get a tight edge on that. So you come up, up. And now remember the U came here. All right. And then one ear. Oh, let's do this first. One, two. So you made that M, right? And I'm going to create the inside of the ear with the gold. Like that. And now I'm going to quickly add some eyes before I do anything else. Let's pink up. So I'm just going to go like that and like that. 
Now those eyes will be drying while I'm doing everything else. A little wet. So you really want to put your eyes in there um, towards the beginning so they have time to dry while you create the rest of the design. Okay. I'm going to add a little brown. And remember how I did the tuft of hair here. I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going to create a tuft of hair here. One, two, and then come around. And then I'm going to come over here. One, two. And come around and then I'm going to follow these lines with the brown just to add a little more definition still going to line it out I just like the color combo to add a little more Tighten up this nose just a little bit. That's better shape. And now I'm going to create his mane. So when I create his mane, I like to use like a number four round to create almost a teardrop effect to, to create those different levels. Use an orange. So, because he has a short forehead here, we're going to adjust that mane so that it works. So you just basically do a big teardrop, little, little, a big teardrop, little, little, a big teardrop, little, big, and kind of just work it right down into here. Okay. A little, little, big. And this is something that Jocelyn used to teach us. Um, it's really important to have those different levels. And, to, and when you're not sure how to get those levels, you do big, little, little, big. It's a safe route when you're cartooning. And then I'm just going to fill this in here. And then all this. Like that. If I was doing this on a face, it would probably be a lot easier. <laughs> but not today. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of the teardrop. And then I'll show you how to line it out. So if I was going to make this into a mask, per se, I would just take a sponge, which I thought I had one here. Maybe I don't. Well, yeah, I think. Is it over there, maybe? Sorry. Okay, so I would literally just take a sponge, grab up some, a split cake, just like that, and I would just tap it out like that, and tap it out like that, just to give the color underneath. And you can start with this if you want, it, it's all in where your comfort level is with your cartooning, but you get the basic color down there. And then you can add whatever you want to that. So now I'm gonna show you how I line this out. I'm gonna do this really fast. And we'll give this guy some blue eyes just so I can show you some eyes.
One very important thing, I forgot his little teeth. Let's grab some white. So his teeth, again, big, little, 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 big, and then down here. Okay? Those will dry while I'm lining out the rest. So I start with the center here. And I just line that nose out. And then I'm going to go up. One, two, three. And then there. Come across. Teeth are a little wet, so I'm going to hold off on that part. And so I'm going to go and do the eyes very last because I want that to be my wow effect. So when people are watching you face paint, you want them to really be wowed. And by painting the eyes last, you kind of leave that open for them to really enjoy the unveiling. So again, on the air, one, two, bring it down. Then I'm going to swoop it around for the inner ear. And I'm just going to do two tiny little teardrops going in. So it looks like he has kind of a little hair in his ears, right? One, two. Swoop it around. And then just two tiny teardrops. You really get good at your teardrops and your line work and your butterflies and everything else when you practice your cartoons because you learn how to twist and turn in small spaces. So I'm going to do a big, little, little, big, little, big, little, like that. You give it more movement when you add the smaller and, and bigger hairs. I put three in here. Little, big, little. Do a couple here. Little, little. And you just kind of create a mane based on the size of their face. Somebody wants to know how many picks you actually on the job. On the job to do this, it would it's really hard to paint again on this board. On a face, uh, uh, this would take me five minutes maybe. Three to five, because I can do it quickly. I, I've practiced this design a million times, you know. So practice it on your leg. I, I personally feel like practicing cartoons on my leg is easier than on a board because I get the real feel of what it feels like on skin. Not that I don't appreciate the boards. The boards are great for creating concepts but actually painting on skin is much more appealing. So I'm gonna color this fully in to show you how to make some cool highlights. But if I was on the job and I didn't have a lot of time, I could also just do this and I have an instant highlight there. So it would look like that. So if you were quickly painting it, do it like this, and then I'll show you the other highlight on the other side, okay? And then the teeth, one, one, two, three. Doesn't matter if it's perfect because you're going to color that black in the center here. So don't worry about trying to get the teeth completely perfect, just you need to have that big, little, little, and then just fill that in. 
because it's just the illusion. And there you go. That's him. Now, if you wanted to, you could do the whiskers. If you wanted to, you could add stenciling in here. With There's a lot of leaf stencils and all kinds of really cool tribal stencils. So you people who do that, I recommend you do it. I'm going to just do real quick swirls and twirls around here instead of um, the leaves like I did before. So I would start in the middle, come over the top. If I didn't have a lot of time, just come around twice. This is the Mark Reed liner brush, one of my favorites in my kit. And I love to double up on this line because I think it's really cool to do. Then I might just do a little swirl this way. A little swirl this way. So when you don't have time, you can still create really cool things. It's just a matter of what your time allots, right? So there you go. Now I'm going to show you a real quick highlight for that eye. And then we'll be off to the next part. So if I was going to do a double highlight, I would get that black. And it's going to dry while I'm doing everything else. And I tap, tap a little bigger. Now you have a really cool highlight. So you can see the difference. That's more appealing than that one, but in a time slot, I would do that one. All right? So what I would like you all to do now is to create your own design. You can use the line if you want, or you can come up with your own character using the same concepts. And then I'd like you to add some of Andrea's stencils to it since she's one of our biggest sponsors and i'm going to have a little we, we made an album already where they can grab one okay we come over here and help me here because she knows more about this part than i do okay so anyway so what she was saying is that now that you learn how to do this uh we want you to try to paint something and uh, there's an album on the 2022 fabric and you can uh, put it in there. Now, if you have a hard time with the album, which we've been having a hard time with Facebook, I don't know why, just post them on the regular feed and then we'll figure out how to add them to the album. And then um, after a couple of days before Sunday, Marge is gonna look at all of the drawings that you made and all of the designs that you made using this concept of her cartoons. And then we're gonna give a prize away during the banquet to her favorite one, okay? So anyway, I want to thank Marge so much for being here um, and for teaching us how to do this. And I can't wait to go paint my rock with a lion face on it. I'm gonna make her proud. <laughs> one more thing, sorry, is if you wanna do your highlights, you want to just follow the curves wherever there's a curve. I like to also paint white around the edges of my designs to make them pop. So, yeah, give and it once your you, shot. you know, once you do uh, for the one they were saying that this takes so long, uh, no, it doesn't because once you do them a few times, just like anything else, you're going to pick up speed every single time you paint it face like this you're going to pick up speed every time you turn it into a dog instead of a lion you're going to pick up speed and before you know it, when you're on the job it's like boo 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 you don't have to think about it just like you don't have to think about your roses anymore <laughs> at the beginning yeah. it took you a long time to learn how to do the cabbage rose and now it's like you know how to do it so it's just you just blindly just do it and it just takes you a uh, very little time Okay, so there's a question. Is there a timeline on posting it? I could not go along with it because she was um, babysitting her kids, but when is the deadline? The deadline is we got to have all of the pictures in the album no later than 2 o'clock on Sunday. So you have plenty of time. You can you do it at 3 a.m. when time. your kids are sleeping, finally. <laughs> okay. okay, because we need to look through all the albums, make sure that we didn't miss anybody, and they they need to pick the winners, too. Same thing with, the, um, with everything else that we're doing. There's a lot of other albums that we're going to tell you about. And I want to remind you, please, when you share things that you learn here, when you want to share anything with your friends, always hashtag us, uh, fabig.com. And what's oh, the other hashtag? Hashtag fabig, hashtag fabig virtual. Okay, I'm sorry. Hashtag fabig and hashtag fabig virtual. 
Okay. Awesome. All right, Marty. Thanks, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Awesome. I'm going to help her uh, clean up a little bit of this. Uh, so I clean up this because I have more classes to do. Yeah. Now, there's a good friend of ours. Her name is Lori Lay. Is that how you pronounce it, Heather? Lori Lai. Lori Lai. And she's from New York, right? What is her last name? I forgot. Laura Lai. But anyway, uh, Laura I just texted us and she says, you know, I would love to give a registration away uh, to uh, for tomorrow's classes to uh, somebody. So if you are not registered to attend the classes and to compete tomorrow and Sunday, uh, put a heart next to your name and Heather is going to look at them and then we're going to pick up not one, but two people to Ooh. get a free virtual registration for the next two days okay so if you're not registered so go ahead and put a heart next to your name and we're going to try to give you away in the meantime i got more prizes to give away and i always kind of leave some of the best ones for last so let me ask you how many of you love like me working with your press powders i really didn't want to open this to show you but i think i'm going to help you okay Elisa Griffith, uh, she sent us this awesome price. It's worth at least $75, $80. Uh, so you have a lot of these, her powders, and they come in a, pa in a magnetic palette. So beautiful. So then what happens is you take them out of the thing. Let me show you because this is so exciting. Okay, I love working with powders, especially in the summer. You take them out and then they just stick to there so you can have all of your powders in this little palette and she donated this so i'm going to pick a lucky 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 winner to win this beautiful palette from our friend elisa griffith another one i mean she's just awesome so uh, let me pick a name and don't forget the lucky winner please send her a note and tell her that we love her and we appreciate everything she does for us so i'm going to find my bag of Tickets. Da, 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 da. Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and shake them really good. And the winner of this Alyssa Griffith palette is Linda Stone Street. Yes, Linda Stone Street. It's not our other friend Stone Street, but it's Linda. Linda Stone Street. So you get a palette from Elisa Griffin. Please make sure you, you thank her. So let's see. I got a couple more things oh, in here. One more. Lori Hurley signed up. She oh, here. Lori Hurley. Hi, Lori. I love you. She just signed up. Okay. I have here a Diamond Effects metallic color palettes oh these are beautiful for background color because they're so soft and they're so delicate and they're so shiny so i'm gonna pick another person and here it is here it is here it is are you putting your hearts next to your name if you're not registered for the classes tomorrow um ada Bowers, Ada. Now, if you know, if some of the people can watch today for different reasons, so if you know any of these people, if they're in your friends or if you know who they are, please send them a little note just saying, guess what? You won, you won. And remember, this live is going to stay up so you can rewatch it. If you really enjoyed it and you really felt that uh, you got something from it, I know I did, uh, then tell your friends to come back and watch it again. It doesn't matter when you watch it, it's better to watch it later than never. <laughs> okay, and for the last prize before I bring in my one of my favorite people, funny people in the world. Okay, Connie Lyons. Hey Connie, long time no see. Connie, she won a fusion palette. Okay, and everybody loves the fusion palette. So here you go. This is to you, Connie. All right. So and my Margie White is making sure that everybody gets their, their price. Okay. Well, it's a little past two. We want to give you the rest of the afternoon to give all of you who are not a Fava TV subscribers, or even if you are a Fava TV subscriber, this is a learning day uh, to take advantage of the fact that you have free access to Fava TV. Uh, there's over 600 classes by over 200 instructors from all over the world. You can choose from 
any class you want to learn. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's face painting, body painting, henna, airbrush, balloons, marketing, everything is in there. The hardest thing about going on Fava TV is choosing what to watch. And there's always new classes being added every single week. Uh, we have a special going on, right, Heather? $75 for three months of Fava TV. Uh, you can get better quality training anywhere else for that, for that price. So you might uh, consider it if you can to watch. And now, before we leave, I want to tell you about my friend. His name is Buster Balloon. He cracks me up. He is just one funny, funny person. And tomorrow night, I invited him to be the entertainment for a banquet. So you're going to have, no, Sunday night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sunday night for a party and a banquet. And everybody's invited. So invite your friends to come over and party with us. He's going to be our entertainer. And you're really, really going to love him. If you like balloons and you're a balloon twister, it's just, I love him because balloon twisting is not just by taking the balloon and twisting it. It's about entertaining while you twist. So um, he sent me these three little video clips. They're very short, but it gives you a really good example of what it is to be an entertainer that makes balloons. Okay, so, and not only that, starting next week, what is, I don't know the exact, is it June the 2nd, I think? June the 6th. June the 6th, 7th and 8th, okay, to win a virtual registration. Oh, okay, good. Okay, the other ones, I, I'll announce it in a minute. So anyway, he has, he has organized his own convention. It's called the uh, Kids Entertain, Entertainment Fest. And this is a convention for anyone that works with children. He has lined up some of the best children entertainers, family entertainers in in the country, in the world. I mean, I'm one of them, <laughs> but, but I'm telling you when I see the other ones, I go, oh my God, I really got to be prepared for this because I'm so, so excited about his event. And uh, it's still time to register for his. And again, I really recommend it for anyone, anyone that works with children, uh, even if you're just a face painter, you if you can learn how to entertain the line, that's really important. But he also has a lot of marketing and a lot of coaching classes and classes on puppets, classes on storytelling, classes on magic, uh, classes on performing, performing for little kids, performing for adults. There's just so much in there. I am so proud of him being his first virtual event and being that he was a little nervous and not really sure if this is what something he wanted to do. He jumped in and is awesome. So uh, if you can, you know, check in Kids Entertainment Fest and uh, say hello to him and let's watch Buster Balloon. Okay. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And thank you again to Margie. I, I drew that lion along with her. And like I said, I'm going to make her proud. I'm going to, can't wait to go home and paint the rock with a lion face <laughs> for my life.
cooking with Buster. Tonight, we're going to make a lovely turkey. I'm going to preheat my oven to 450 degrees. Place the bird into the roasting pan. Add salt and pepper to taste. Coat liberally with olive oil. And once your oven's at heat, place it in the oven, cooking for 30 minutes. 30 minutes at 450 degrees. Then lower the temperature down to 350 and cook the rest of the time until your turkey's done, depending on the weight, of course. So let's get started. And one and a half hours later, we have a beautiful turkey. Yeah, oh my God, I just love him. And wait till you see him tomorrow night. But besides, besides him, besides Buster Balloon tomorrow night, that's going to add a lot of fun and laughter to our day and our night. I have another very extra special super guest that you, guest that you already know. And he's going to be there. Just wait to see what it is. One or other, my favorite people. But anyway, we ask you that if you were not registered for the virtual meeting, that you can watch the classes tomorrow and Sunday. And you also can compete if you want to on Saturday night to put a heart right next to your name. So a few of you did. And Heather, she just picked the two winners. And one of them is Tricia Downey. You are the winner. And thank you to our friend. How do you pronounce Lorelai from New York? And then Aileen, Aileen or Aileen? Aileen Borges, B O R G E S. You are the other winner of the registration. So, do they need to send us their email? Yes. To, so, please send us your email so that we can send you all the passcodes and the information. If you have paid for the registration and you have not received the, the Zoom links, uh, uh, please let us know by writing a little note to info at fabate.com and we will check and see why you didn't get it. But by later on this afternoon, everybody should have gotten it, okay? And, um, are the winners again? and the winners are Tricia Downey and Aline, or El Aline, I don't know how to pronounce it, Aline Borks. Yeah. Yeah. You got it? She got, she got the names. Okay. And just to go over everything really fast. Uh, tomorrow is a new day. Uh, today, like I said, uh, please, if you're not a member of Fala TV, take advantage of this great opportunity to go learn as much as you possibly can learn for the night because there's nothing else going on today. Um, take advantage of that and then come back tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow we're going to be on live at uh, a little before 10 on the, on the Zoom, just to welcome you to the classes. The first class tomorrow morning is Milena. She is from Russia. Most of you know who she is because her artwork, anytime she posts anything, people will never forget because she's that good at what she does. She's gonna teach you how to use these little face stencils that she designed uh, so that you can make faces on the, very easily on the face. She's gonna be tomorrow. Um, she is Russian, but we have a translator so that everybody can understand. We're so excited. Yeah, she came to the last Fabake and she just blew everybody away, not only with her art, but her beautiful, humble personality. Okay, then, um, she goes in from 10 to 12. At 12 noon, we come again for two other hours to do basically what we did today. Give away lots and lots and lots of prizes and have some special guests and learn a few little fast things like we did today. So don't miss it. And invite your friends because you know what? From 12 to 2, anybody that would like to watch and they would like to join us is welcome to do so. Okay? Uh, then at 2 o'clock, we have Maggie Acosta. She is an wonderful artist from Mexico and she's going to show you what she specializes in which is black light, neon colors, how to use them, how to photograph them, how to work with them. Uh, this is something else that you can add to your line of services uh, that is uh, getting to be very popular and you can make a lot of money doing this for high-end parties especially. 
Uh, then, uh, then we rest for a little while and we get ready at 5.30 to come back and for the competition. If you're competing, please be on the Zoom by 5.30 so that we can start promptly at 6. Don't be late because if you're late, we're not going to let you in. Okay, and then you're going to paint from 6 to 8. It's a face painting competition the face, but you can add the chest if you want to. Uh, there's a list, uh, go look for the video that we have posted quite a few times already to see what is allowed and what is not allowed. Also, that is on print on, if you scroll back on the on any of the forums, there's also a print version of version of the video uh, to see what is allowed and not. And then during the time of the competition, if you're not competing, you're free to watch what is going on um and then but also we're going to have a very 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 special uh, guest somebody that you really like and would love to see um i don't want to announce it because i like you to get excited and come in and say who is it who is this so that will be tomorrow night and then sunday again at 10 o'clock is dandy durant's class uh he's another incredible amazing artist from Mexico. He won just about every competition at the World Body Painting uh, Festival this year. And uh, he's just an awesome person. Uh, I always try to pick my ins instructors because of their attitudes and their heart and their willingness to share with everybody. And that's what Danny is. So he's going to be teaching more Halloween designs, masters. Uh, that's what he does best. It's a little bit more advanced class. So if you find it to be more advanced for you because you're not as an experienced painter, you can use those hours to go watch a Fava TV, but I recommend that you watch him anyway because you can always learn something. From 12 to 2, we come back again for another two hours of prizes, prizes, more prizes, more fun, more classes, more surprises, uh, more fun things, more interesting interviews, more videos. Uh, so make sure that, je, that you stay with us. And at two o'clock, Gillian Childs from the UK is going to come over and show you something a very a little similar to what Margie shared today uh, with her own special take. These are very friendly, uh, children friendly designs that you can do and they're mask friendly. And the kids will absolutely love them and they're on the job designs that you can actually go out and do the next time you go out and paint. Then again, when we come back for a few minutes and then we're gonna rest for a little while and actually we're not gonna rest. We're gonna put everything down and we're gonna go get ready for the party. We want you to be good to yourself. We want you to put on your best attire, put on your best dress, put on makeup on, paint your face if you want to wear a crown, like I'm gonna do, wear a hat, wear anything, but just come ready uh, to have the best online party ever with us. And we're gonna start this party at 6 p.m. promptly. We have our sexy bartender, Adrian Salazar, who's gonna teach you how to mix the official of Fava 22 mango mojito <laughs> and then we're going to toast we're going to drink we have omar the dj uh we have pastor balloon the entertainer we got our special guest that you're going to love and we're going to teach you how to dance uh also and we're going to dance and we're going to party the night away so and this is what it is all about it's a celebration it's a celebration about our family, our face painting family, about how strong we are, how together we are, and how wonderful all of us are. So again, thank you for all our sponsors and our vendors. You really made this awesome. So I'm going to give some more prizes. I got three more prizes to give away before we say goodbye. And the first one, I'm going to give this beautiful bling by my beautiful friend, Donna Cox. Donna, we love you. She's so good at this. So you're going to get a, a set of bling. I love the ones with the, with the uh, wings and those will be like really pretty for the side of the eyes. So let me pick a person for this one, okay. And the winner is Martina, Martina Schubert. You won, my friends, face painting by Donna. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I, I know. Give this to her. Yeah, you have to give that to her. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna give a set of half as stencils those are the mini stencils i cannot do without without this and i'm not 
I'm not, like Margie, I'm not a huge stencil uh, person, mostly because you know what the hardest thing about stencils, using the stencils, is remembering to pick them up. <laughs> you got to get used to like, oh, let me buy a stencil, because a lot of times I finish something, I take a picture, I go home, I look at the picture and I go, I should have used a stencil. It's just like that commercial. Hmm, I should have had a VA. Same thing. <laughs> okay. And uh, this one's, you know, like she says, she's like the queen of stencils. And Kay Norris, you win a set of stencils from one of our greatest stencils, Andrea Dano. And this for you. And the last but not least, this is another set of powders. Um, these are very, they're called intense because they're very intense. And uh, a lot of people actually use this not only for face painting, but they use it for their own makeup. If you really want to, these colors are really, really intense and they're made by Meron. So you got a, a set of uh, six colors, purple, brown, hot pink, red, green, and turquoise okay so remember uh, if you win it and the winner please send them a little note on facebook or whatever and just let them know how much you appreciate them and how wonderful the price is because you are going to love 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 using this whether you use it on yourself or you're using with your face painting the summer is coming up nothing better for background color than pressed powders so i'm going to pick the last winner of the day oh i'm excited the last winner of the day is Okay, Gabriela Porter. Anybody knows Gabriela? Anybody knows all the, all, any of the past winners? Please let them know that they won. So, Gabriela Porter, you get a set of Merrill press powders. And that's it for the day. But you know what? I give out exactly 15 prizes today. And you know what? I have a lot more to give up tomorrow. So then make sure that you tune in from 12 to 2. Make sure that you invite your friends. Have a wonderful class uh, tomorrow. Prepare early. Be ready to go at 10 o'clock. So that means that by around 9, 9.30, you start setting up your space at home uh, with your paints and your brushes and your sponge, sponges, your stencils, whatever it needs to follow the instructor alone. These are live classes. They're not tape so you we're going to be monitoring the shot you're going to be able to ask questions she's going to be able to respond to you right away and um and then you know after the class it's over please let her know how wonderful she was because she's a little bit nervous about it and uh but it's going to be absolutely great so we'll see you tomorrow be ready to start at 10 o'clock invite all your friends over from 12 to 2 be ready to start at 2 o'clock again uh rest between 4 and 5 30 be at the computer by 5.30 on the Zoom link for the competition. Uh, be prepared to enjoy our very, very special friend. And in the meantime, have a really good night. Have a really great day of the day. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, we really appreciate your continuous support. Uh, we really appreciate all the love that you send us. And we truly, really love all of you with all our heart. So thank you for being here. Yay.